Like, I just didn't want to be seen. Don't look at me. I don't feel worthy of anybody else's eyes. I just want to be nothing. Hello, happy people. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I just wanted to say before we start the video that this growth of my channel, I am not taking it for granted. I have so much gratitude for every single person who has subscribed, followed, which is the same thing as subscribing on YouTube, <laughs> liked or engaged with my content in any sort of way. I really appreciate you guys so much. Just how much love and support and appreciation that I've got from fresh. Fuck that? Okay, today we're having a podcast. Uh. <coughs> and we're smoking. <laughs> I was feeling very compelled to speak on a topic that is <sighs> touchy. It is thought provoking and not one that I see many talking about, or maybe I'm just not searching for it because it's so. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and smoke. Your girl likes the smoky smoke. Grab your blunt. Let's have a good time. This one of my friends is gonna correct me. I know. I don't know. Okay, I just smoke it. I don't know what it is or what it isn't called. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. If you have it, go grab it. Spark it up. Come in. Let's vibe. And thank you again for holding space for me and allowing me to show up exactly as I am. If you have not seen my last video, I am bald. I shaved my head about four days ago, my hair, not my head. And I love it so much. I feel complete. I feel empowered. I feel like a woman. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of my bald head? You can be honest. I'm going to love it either way, but I am curious to see how people view me when they see the head. <laughs> So before we get started, I just want to go ahead and set the tone, set the vibe. If you're not sparked up with me, that's completely okay. It's completely up to you what you choose to do with your body. Me, I like the smoke though, so that's what we gonna do. I would like to ask you to be present with me in this space. Again, this is a topic that means a lot to me. It's a topic that I've struggled with throughout my entire life and sometimes continue to struggle with. And I just ask for an open mind and a safe space to be and to allow in this moment. And in order to do so, I believe that we should be breathing properly. So I'm gonna ask everyone to sit up straight and we're going to breathe deeply. And I want us to bring our breath down to the heart space. Hold for four seconds. And then we're gonna breathe out. And when we breathe in and breathe out, I really want us to feel the air flowing from the throat to the heart chakra, down to the center right here where your power lies. Hold for four seconds and really feel it come back out and allow. And on this next inhalation, I want you to breathe in life, breathe in presence, breathe in peace, breathe in joy, breathe in happiness, breathe in everything that is in alignment with you, even if it doesn't feel that way in this moment. And please hold. Hold until you cannot any longer. And as we begin to breathe out, breathe out anything that is not in alignment with you, that is negative energy that does not belong with you in this moment. You are safe here, beautiful. You are loved here. You are protected here. Let's jump into what we came here to talk about. <laughs> Hard coming on camera and telling the world that for a big portion of your life you felt ugly. Ugliness is such a... You ever seen that Spongebob episode where he had hot breath? And he was like, am I? <laughs> and everybody's like, oh. <laughs> that's generally what it felt like for so long. Like, I just didn't want to be seen. Don't look at me. I don't feel worthy of anybody else's eyes. I just want to be nothing. 
that's how I thought about myself for so long, like nothing. I did not grow up hearing that I was beautiful. I never told myself that I was beautiful. As early as middle school, I looked around and my friends were beautiful. And I wasn't jealous of them for that. I loved them because of it. I started associating beauty with self-worth and your importance because I didn't feel good about myself. I thought the next best thing was to align myself with people who were beautiful. And somehow that made me worthy because look, these good looking people have chosen me. I must be beautiful by association. I must be beautiful because beautiful people like me. In middle school, a lot of my friends got asked out on dates and I did not. And I did talk to guys, don't get me wrong, but the ratio between myself and them was very, very different, very vast. And that's okay. I didn't worry too much or think too deeply into it in middle school. Once I got to high school and I started blossoming a little bit, I noticed how some days I felt really good and other days I didn't feel like anything. And I didn't make that, that distinction back then, but what started to build in me was when I felt good about myself, men were attracted to me. Guys, getting attention from guys for the first time when I had my mini glow up in high school. I started also looking at that attention as me being worthy. When guys would approach me, I would feed off of their energy because they like me, so that must mean that I am likable because somebody else sees beauty in me. Because they feel that way about me, I should feel that way about me now. When these guys would leave for whatever reason, I felt my self-worth leave with them. I felt my beauty or the perception of it that I had in that moment leave. And I was back to just being the frog. So I navigated life with associating myself with beautiful people and by getting my energy and my self-worth from the guys that I am dating. After a constant cycle of this and not really seeing anything wrong with it, I graduate high school and I join the military. And shortly after I get married to my then husband and none of that was a thing because he made me feel beautiful and he got me gifts and I felt seen and I only had to worry about him. As time went on and we eventually got divorced, I continued to date men. Pretty much I was jumping relationship to relationship. I'm going out and I'm a single woman for the first time and you know, I'm, I'm glowing up. The attention that I'm getting from men as a single woman to eventually in these relationships, I never really had to confront my battles with my self-esteem because I was still getting energy from the guys that I was entertaining in some way, shape or form. Up until my most recent relationship a year and a half ago, still getting energy, but started feeling like my ex didn't really find me attractive. Um, I would wear good looking things and sexy things. And the most that he would tell me was that I look good. And in his way, that was him complimenting me. But with me needing to be poured into with words of affirmation, not knowing that because I do have low self-esteem and I don't feel pretty all the time. Him telling me that I just look good was a dig at my ego when I didn't even realize it. Those old wounds started creeping back in about how I viewed myself, but I didn't realize that at the time. Sometime later, I make friends with a well-known influencer, beautiful girl, and I started seeing how I became a fly on the wall when I was with her. Things, my light just went out, hopefully you can still see me. So these two very important factors are happening at the same time in my life. And eventually I leave Florida and I travel all of last year. So now I am left to pretty much deal with these unraveling thought processes on my own without men to tell me that I look good or to feed into me. And eventually, slowly but surely, the things that you have not healed from will come back, starting back in August, actually, when I quit my job were extremely difficult because I didn't have the money to pour into my appearance and I started seeing the worst sides of me. And with seeing the worst sides of me, I also started being very nasty and hateful to myself. And I just started saying the most hurtful things about myself. I started to realize that everything I thought I had healed from, I simply buried and it was still in me. I still viewed myself a certain way and I still got energy from men. All these realizations were coming to me. I was hiding behind how other people viewed me and allowing that to control how I view myself. Recently, I took an edible and I was just confronting myself with every dirty and ugly word I felt about how I looked, who I was, where I was going. 
And it was so healing because I got to bring all these things to the surface that I kept burying and acting like I didn't feel. And it freed me to understand my truth. I'm here to help raise the vibration and not continue to pollute it with thoughts that were never true to begin with. When I let go of having to fill expectations of how I should look to the public in order to be viewed as beautiful, when I let go of caring what other people think about how I look, and when I let go of the burden that we place on looks in society, and just allow myself to show up as I am, is when I started seeing just how beautiful I really was. And in a last ditch effort to put the narrative back and take control of how I want it to be seen, I shaved my head. And it is insane because I love it so much and I feel the full embodiment of who I was called here to be with this bald head of mine. I get to be beautiful. You get to be beautiful. You get to be whatever you want to be. Looks aside. We get to decide how we want to show up in this world and only we can put labels on ourselves. You put yourself in these boxes and then you wonder why no one can see your light, why no one can see you shine, why nobody can see what you see about you. Beauty or not, why no one can see that you're just a cool ass person to be with? It's because you're hiding yourself away by clothing yourself and putting makeup on and hairstyles that you don't even really vibe with, not on a soul level. How can I see you when you're a carbon copy of other people who don't know themselves? Take back your power, take back your self-worth, take back what you allow to dictate your emotions. Make your emotions expensive. When you are present and you are happy with yourself, you are fully in your power because nothing anybody else says or does to you can affect you. When you know who you are, you step further and further in that knowing. Claim your perfections and claim your imperfections. That's what really makes you beautiful. I feel great about who I am because I finally took back the narrative and I finally stopped giving a fuck about what other people think of me. I finally stepped outside of myself and realized just how minuscule something as looks is in the grand scheme of things. We think that we're beautiful because of our outward appearance, but when you heal within and you allow yourself to shine and you allow yourself to be seen for your flaws and your perfections, you'll see that it's really your light that dictates your beauty. It's really the energy that you carry, the love that you have for yourself and the world around you and other people is really what makes you beautiful. It truly emanates an energy that cannot be duplicated. Now, as I am pushing forward in my adult life to achieve big dreams and big goals, I'm being called to step into the center stage because I have a message to give and I have people here that I would like to help. In order to do so, I have to step beyond the limiting beliefs that I've placed upon myself. I have to work through my image issues and accept that there are going to be other beautiful people that doesn't make you any less beautiful. Accept that we all look different and no one is going to fit the perfect box and you're always going to be less desirable to somebody and that is okay. It's time to be seen. You're allowed to be beautiful. You're allowed to be human. And you're allowed to go through this life experience and figure it out. You're allowed to make mistakes. And you're allowed to not be perfect. I hope this message resonated with you. Please feel free to let me know what you thought of this commentary down below. And let me know how you think I can improve because I'm not going anywhere and you will continue to see more of my face and the messages will only get more potent and more direct and speak to your heart chakra. So <laughs> until next time, bye guys, be blessed.